All right, to start out with this image, I went ahead, I'm opening it in, uh, in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm actually gonna set the white balance just using the gray here in the image uh, because the white balance looked a little off to me. And so then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and open the image up in Photoshop. And once I get it in Photoshop, then I need to determine what it needs. So when I look at this image, what I see is that um, it lacks a little bit of contrast and pop here on the sign because we want these let this lettering to really pop out. And then it also, um, it needs some light. So that kind of helps me determine which actions I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and play on these. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the light and bright base and you can see that really gave me um, light and bright base kind of gives you some light and contrast um, so that really gave me some nice light and contrast to this image now it's still a tiny bit dark um, so I'm actually gonna brighten the midtones up a bit um, and that's just gonna add some more light and that's gonna add light to um, so when you have an image you have your highlights um, and then you have midtones, which are kind of like um, just like the mid areas, and then you have your um, blacks. So midtones, kind of, when you play bright midtones, it gives kind of just an overall brightness without blowing out um, the image and the highlights. So that gives me some nice light. Now I want to add a little bit of pop and contrast to the sign itself. So there's a couple things I can do. One, I can do. Um, we can do paint on pop, and yes, paint on so pop is basically painting on. Yes, pop. Yep, pop. Um, and it is going to give some contrast. So we're going to use our brush at about twenty percent opacity. Okay, I have it at eighteen, and we have a white brush. Our brush is soft. The hardness is at zero. And I just did that by right clicking. And then we're going to paint over the sign itself. And we are going to bring out. And so when you hold down once and you don't let go of your mouse, that's going to paint it at 20%. So then once I let go, it'll paint it 20% more. So you can gradually build up the contrast. So there we brought back some contrast here. Um, we can play color pop. Um, or sorry, we, we can play color pop, but that's going to give a color pop to the overall image, um, which is okay if your image whole image is a little undersaturated, but really I just want to paint some vibrant color here just on the sign. And I'm going to bring down the opacity just a little bit lower to 10%. And we're going to paint on um, a little bit of color here. And we want it to be subtle. I mean, you want the colors to match what they are in real life. Um, but you, and you just, I mean, so sometimes when I do these, people don't really see the change, but if I just show you here, you can see those, it just brought a little bit more vibrance to the sign. So then that looks pretty good. Um, the only other thing I would change, and you don't need an action for this, um, would be the top here. It looks like maybe it didn't go all the way across, so there's this, like, yellow line up there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my poly gone lasso tool and I'm going to click here and select this area here at the top you don't have to do and I'm going to go back to my background layer I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to fill um, contents content aware and that's just going to fill in that little yellow area there at the top and there you have it um, then the very final thing I always do with all of my images is I run crisp finish on it um, and to run that I'm actually going to I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what crisp finish does so we're going to run crisp finish I'm going to go ahead and press play what would you like to listen to and um, I'm going to up the opacity of this just a little bit 
and I'm actually going to take it all the way to 100. So you can see that it just really, it makes that writing crisper. And when you look at um, the whole image here, we turn it off, it just gives um, some crispness to the lettering there. <coughs> so there you have it. You have it.